Hey, you've reached the channel Creative Writing Pros. I'm Robin, and this video will be about independent versus traditional publishing. Okay, first thing to think about. First, with traditional publishing, it usually involves getting an agent before you even get to a publishing company. Or before you get approved by a publishing company, sorry. When you're going independent, it's just you. Which means, okay, more responsibility on your part, but it also means you don't have to pay anyone else. <laughs> okay, aside from maybe a illustrator or an editor, but it essentially means the amount of pay you get in the end um, is going to be more, and you're going to get a larger chunk of what's earned, what you've earned, through writing a book, which is great. When it comes to indie versus traditional publishing, when it comes to advertising, the publishing company tends to, or well, most publishing companies, tend to save the majority of their income for the larger authors, which means if you're just starting out, you're going to have to do a lot of publicity yourself, yourself, either way. With a publishing company, there tends to be a limit of the number of prints of the book, so if you actually exceed the number of prints made in sales, or more people want to buy, then number of prints available, you're going to have a problem with that sort of thing with a company. If you go indie and you choose to use print on demand, which is now great, because that means you can just say, okay, I've got five people want five people who've paid for my book this week, or book today, um, print five, and send them off to where they have to go. It's in a way more practical, also it means you can still keep selling your book when it's a decade later depending on what you're, you've written, of course. <laughs> also, with certain time limits with a the company, that does involve also their, um, their publicity, of course. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. It has to do with um, they sell, like, sorry, they promote you for three months before the book comes out, and then there's your debut date, and there's three months after that when they're promoting you, and then they stop advertising you. That's it. Again, to do with money, you, as the author, tend to get a very small percent of the income made, or the sales made, from your book if you go with a publishing company. The, there also is usually an editor, and an illustrator, and a, of course the people who volunteered to, or um, said they would and did, publish your book and then you get a very small part of that, and with reprints, your percentage actually goes down of royalties, so something to keep in mind. That's all for this video. Tell me what you think in the comment section below about what you think of indie versus traditional publishing, and check out my Facebook and Twitter and my vlog channel. Feel free to like and like this video and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Keep being creative.